Stuck Albert. Good work here guys, what do you think, what do you think, indeed God has been gracious on my side and my family at large, eh? David Jr. doing this, a lot of sand here, big tracks right there, man, it's God, me I'm just happy and humble guys, what life has offered, you know. Huge track right there, huh? Guys, kindly give the video a like. Um, man, this is priceless for sure, huh? This is priceless. From nothing to something. Huh? So... <laughs> guys, me, I'm happy for sure. Even I don't know what to say on this video. But... Man, it has been God has been God here so when I be fixing these roads these are village roads here but all in all wanna demolish this everything here wanna change the narrative um, I hope um, you know mostly I represent the youth but at the same time I do understand uh, I'm a role model to many people around the world feel motivated everything is possible if David Jr. can do this at 22, you too can do, you know. God <laughs> is good for sure. Good, huh? <laughs> God is good for sure. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's early in the morning here. I'm creating this video from my village. Uh, located at the border between Kenya and Tanzania so to be precise I'm coming live and clear from my home I'm the owner of this place as you can tell from my face I'm so excited guys I'm happy I just appreciate what life is right now because um, this is where David Jr. comes from so I hope you enjoyed the video till to the end and sure you give it a like subscribe to the channel because that's the best way to support this village but at the same time it's a video of a lot of inspiration in which I'll be narrating so enjoy guys so this is where I'm intending to build my commercial houses guys for purposely for income generation so this place right here it has really changed a lot because right now construction just began we already started demolishing things here so our gate used to be here but right now it's no more oh man i want to give a special shout out to everybody who support my work from the bottom of my heart i appreciate may god bless you may you never lack yeah guys so thank you thank you for the love and support so this is how it is right now we're trying to uproot this tree it was huge for sure you see guys here want to approve these and um, want to start building 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 when these houses right here they are very old in which want to be demolishing them guys so this is ballast right here <laughs> yeah a lot more is coming i need like 20 trucks of ballast but we just started man and um anytime from now actually anytime even right now ballast wanna be arriving here so these are a lot of sand oh man these are dream so guys let me take you along um let me show you the progress we've been doing here and also i want to give a special shout out to all of you guys you're showing me the love it's unconditional the support um, my american family i appreciate man i appreciate huh? thank you so much actually maraba thank you 
Shikamoza Swahili word. He means uh, it's a greeting for sure. So I want to give a special shout out to my American family. Actually, America is a beautiful country. Its people, they are very generous. Oh man. Thank you so much. I can't wait to come to the US. Vipi. Put your two feet. <laughs> so those are our tenancy in which we want to give them notice anytime from down they should leave this place because construction wanna go on she vip salimia watu wangu sema hello hello unawaona wanakuona wanakuona vizuri eh sasa hapo wanakuona kutoka america akia mungu sawa sawa mko salama salama daudi njaa tu ndio njaa akia mungu tena sana acha nimalize hivi nitakunulia kitu sawa sawa ah kamba kamba mpaka na hizi wewe huko mabuta hapa yote eh zitamsaidia ku nini kuwasha moto eh mhm zikauka so these are filed see in which i just all had they want to be helpful when they are dry you know the main uh, source of fuel is use of firewood guys no gases here okay i have to be precise other families they have gas but the majority of the family here they use uh, firewood as a source of fuel so guys i'm happy i want to uh, i want to give a special shout out to my american family man even some tracks of sand here they made it possible oh david jr is so loved worldwide so I wanna be demolishing these houses. I wanna be coming up with a story house, man. I feel so blessed just to do this at my age. And uh, look, so these are stones here. I'm trying to gather a lot of them here. Yeah, guys, for those who are new here, because I do understand every single day we got new members on our YouTube channel. Um, first, I wanna say thank you for supporting my uncle. You extended your hand of generosity, and my uncle came up with a modern house in which I don't take it for granted. May God bless you all. It has been raining, this is how our roads are right now, but I wanna be fixing them because if the roads are impassable, we can't do anything. So, this is the view of my construction materials. A lot more they are coming here. Oh man, look at this huge heap of sand, huh? Look at this, and uh, it's of good quality. And one truck goes for 7,000 Kenyan shillings, that is the same as roughly. 70 US dollars. So this is sand. This is how it is. There are more of uh, more than 10 tracks of sand here. And um, this is my village. It's early in the morning in which I want to be taking you to the market area so that you can see how it looks like. Um, it's crazy. These are our roads. Though we're not complaining, we have to fix these. Eh? We are the people. Though we pay a lot of taxes, but the government, it's kind of a letdown. It has to fix these kind of roads. So this is the market area. This is how it is. Maybe I should uh, take you there so that you can see by yourself. At the same time, I'm just happy, man, to do this. And also, it is a huge inspiration to people out there. Like, you can do it. These dreams are valid. As long as you chase your dreams like a lion, oh, man, you can do it. So... Actually, let me ch um, take you along so that you can see where my land, um, the boundary. So, we want to be fencing all of these with the perimeter wall, a huge perimeter wall for sure, for security purposes. Um, huh, I'm just excited, guys, to do this. So, this used to be my neighbor. Actually, I want to give a special shout out. Uh, he's a content creator, though he relocated to Spain. So, big shout out to chef matiko so this is uh, their area uh -huh. yeah so let me take you along enjoy the video subscribe to the channel man i'm just happy to do this huh yeah so <laughs> this house right here i'm gonna be telling you what's happening inside here guys so <laughs> so this is my boundary here this is how it is this is the whole piece of land in which you wanna be fencing guys. I feel like we should uh, start walling the area before we start construction. What do you think? Let me get in the comment section below. 
so these are huge land here and um, the location it's at its best because these areas located within the market i'm intending even to create airbnbs when you people come here in the village you have a place to chill and relax and the good thing about here in the village guys i have to insist on this construction tends to be cheap compared to maybe in the big cities let's say in nairobi mombasa kisumu yeah so hmm. this is how it is huh? beautiful africa beautiful kenya so green has been raining here so i'm gonna be explaining what's happening inside the house here this one it's a mud house this is how they are built this is mud you know iron sheets it's just a simple house even right now these houses are kind of falling apart man but we're very hopeful everything wanna be okay so i wanna be explaining what's really happening here you see even the benches here and some broken chairs plastic chairs i wanna be explaining what's happening here even you have we have the three stone cooking area here i wanna be explaining what's happening here guys but it is what it is they are my neighbors what can we do but um, man life here in the village at times it's crazy you hear people <laughs> let me keep a distance so that i can explain what's happening inside there inside there but anyway this is the beautiful village in which i'm so proud this is where i come from let me take you to the market as i come i show you huge progresses that are going on at my construction site ah the music man there is a lot of music there in which i don't want to get copyright so you see when people are outside there man it's crazy but it is or it is uh, Vip, go for Salimia or Tuang. A Barizen one. A Pumonekan, a Conja, a Pumonekan, and Pacamir, Nimonekan of one. Miconja. So he's saying he's angry, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And employment here in the village is something else, guys. Look at this. Huh? But. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you our market. So, one of the things that's happening on the house right there, people are taking alcohol. <laughs> Early in the morning, guys. I'm shooting this video at around uh, 7.30 a.m. But you can imagine, people have already left their, their houses. Now they are consuming alcohol in which um it's kind of harmful here in the village you know so it's crazy and also then unemployment rate here it's so high so let me show you where people sell their commodities here you know <laughs> life in the village it's kind of i don't know so this is where um, mostly people sell their commodities so they put here the onions the tomatoes and that's how they generate income here in the village so there are plenty of them the stores i don't know how to call them guys let me get in the comment section below how you call these kind of um i i don't know if they are stores i don't know if they are shades so let me get to know the comment section below we have clean water here in which um, the government is trying but um, not that much because it's not up to the standards because this place is kind of not of good hygiene so there's water right there tanks and this is where they sell their commodities so these are huge store inside here we call it in swahili marikiti kindly google that word so yeah this is how life is there's a pub um, um guys fallen pit latrines it's crazy so eh, eh, eh. fallen pit latrines but i want to be fixing things for sure here i wish people they were already awake so that uh, you can see how like activities are operating here but anyway that's how it is 
let me get in the comment section below what do you think about this video guys it's just a random video it has been raining heavily here even now uh, the roads are kind of impassable wow huh so so far so good i can't complain everything is all right god's dress has been sufficient um so this is the beautiful view of my construction site guys this area is changing it's changing we're doing a, a lot of hard work here and uh, in which i'm not complaining we have to work we have to ensure we put food on the table we have to to chase this poverty away guys in which i feel so good like my dad he has been always been my guiding star actually he's my manager here he takes care of everything that is taking place here um thank you so much dad i'm grateful i saw in the comment section before i saying baby don't forget your dad surprise him make him smile for sure guys his surprise is coming big surprise for sure big more than my mom's surprise yeah but at the same time also i want to give a special shout out to my mom she has been there she has been guiding me through school giving me phone calls whenever i was in school she has been always been my guiding star so thank you mom we appreciate you and all moms around the world we care a lot you know our moms always ensure life is good despite even going through hard times and stuff i have some kids here so this is how life in the village is so they are collecting some firewood here guys well-mannered kids um they are doing such kind of work so that they can prepare themselves for adult life you know yeah so this is how it looks like the sky not that good because it's raining right now I, uh, it's evident from our um, our roads yeah so these stones right here each truck goes for um, 70 usd that's the same as roughly 7000 kenyan shilling but prices differ as i've said earlier here in the village um prices they tend to be low compared in other places let's say in nairobi kenya so the next big thing is purchasing of the bars in which they are damnly expensive guys yeah but let's see how it goes my dream is to be an entrepreneur huh? taking risks that's one of the characteristics of an entrepreneur so i'm ready to take risks so guys i'm in this shop here this is how it is so as i promised to remember my video that i was shooting i promised um, one of the lady in which uh, i told her she's right there I told her I want to be surprising her with something, so she's inside the shop. You know, at times uh, I don't document every charity that I do, but um, I always help people, guys, a lot of them. So she just told me she doesn't have a maize in which, uh, or corn, in which is essential for production of ugali, because ugali here is the staple food. Huh? I decided to give her a lot of money for sure in a good way so that uh, it can sustain her you know and also feed her family because life in the village is not what you, you think or expect because at times uh, it's so difficult because especially if you don't have cash you know but let's see I'm going to get a kitu. You look at it. And you know, I So I gave her ten dollars, which is a lot of mine, same as a thousand Kenyan shilling. So she's looking for change right there. Yeah, but at the same time, when you give people a lot of mine, uh, they forget to work. So she wanna be taking a half of it, you know, it's, uh, she wanna be buying uh, the corn, I mean the maize, at the same time the veg, you know. Yeah, that's how we do. Mostly I don't do document these, but at times it's a, it's a good thing, man. 
Yeah. I was speaking to my uncle. Salimia <laughs> atuang. Hello guys. Huh? These are the real hassles. <laughs> you are doing much of border board. Yes, village driver. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now shoot to video. Stop okay. turning about that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. This is my chain. Ah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I just gave the lady cash. Yeah, that's how it is. So, guys, after a long day of editing videos, creating, I decided to come here at the border. This is how the border looks like. It's called Isibania border. To do shopping for my mom, this rice here, you see guys, and the other stuffs there. Yeah, at the same time, sorry for the sound, at the same time I'm expecting visitors. Mick, <laughs> she wanna be coming to say hello to my mom. Uh, this is how it is. Guys, I'm back home. Uh, we boiling drinking water. This is how it is here. Firewood as a source of fuel. This is where we prepare food from. I mean the outside kitchen. Yeah, that's how my day it has been. So thank you all. Um, it was just a video just to show you my progress here at home. And let me get to know what you think about this video, guys. And for me, it's a blessing to have you people around me. Yeah, I don't take it for granted, guys. I'm home. Uh, the beautiful view of our home right there. This is how it is. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you a million times. Our chickens are doing fine. <laughs> It was a story okay it is a story for the past eh? i don't wanna go into our chickens but you people you know what happened anyway thank you all i'm humbled guys thank you for supporting the uv dead boy um like the video subscribe to the channel yeah more amazing videos are coming from here in the village beautiful environment so green so green very green look at these guys yeah look at this okay thank you i'll see you in my next video guys greetings from here in the village to be precise at the border between kenya and tanzania isibania border thank you guys i love you all bye bye take care